the statue situation when you hear Trump say we have to protect the American heritage. And do you think that is another message that could hurt him in swing states? Because they're already saying a lot of Democrats, you know, he's siding with people who are terrible. He's siding with racists. He's siding with white supremacists. It's like, is that message a good one too, to be kind of signaling that you're in favor of the statue staying up? Remember, remember, the people who are out there now are talking about taking down George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, uh, probably dynamiting Mount Rushmore. Um, you know, I mean, uh, you now have a guy out there saying that any statue or painting that shows Jesus as being white should be destroyed. Um, so I think, I think it gets out of hand pretty rapidly. And most people agree that uh, no one should have the right on their own to go and destroy things. I mean, if you want to go through a political process and say, well, you know, that, that particular statue should be moved into a museum or whatever, that's one thing. But to just go out on your own and say, I have decided I will destroy this, uh, clearly is the end of civilization as we've known it. I mean, th these are vandals and barbarians. So you don't think it'll stop at the Confederate statues, they'll, they'll continue on in other areas. Oh yeah, I, I think once they get started and they believe they have the right to impose on you what they believe, then I think you don't have, uh, there's, there's no natural automatic stopping point. And you see them, in, I mean, they're talking for example about taking down the statue in Washington of Lincoln as the great emancipator, which was paid for by free slaves. I mean, literally, it's a, it's a great historical monument, and slaves who had been freed by Lincoln gave money and ultimately raised enough money to build the statue. And yet, idiots who know no history or who hate America uh, want to tear down the statue. And that is, that's the sort of thing you're up against. And, you know, when the Taliban in 2001 uh, blew up two giant Buddhas. Uh, one was 120 feet, and the other was 170 feet. Um, the entire world condemned them because these were great religious artifacts uh, that were 2,000 years old. Well, that's that's sort of how I feel about these guys who are out here uh, destroying things. They have no idea what their value is. They have no idea what the history is. Uh, they just uh, want to engage in anarchism in a way which I think no civilized society can tolerate. Berkeley is renaming their Jefferson and Washington schools, public schools, the elementary school already. So it is, it is starting to happen where they're focusing on the founders, these activists, and even some Democrats are, you know, doing right. that. Uh, do you think that's next where the whole foundation of the country and our founders the only oh, thing they're judged on, like Washington, solely is the slaves owner aspect. I think if you look at the article written by the woman who did the 1619 Project for the New York Times, she wrote an article in the middle of the 90s that whites are devils, demons, evil. Um, I mean, it's, it's an amazing article. It's a totally racist rant. Well, she would take down every statue that was white. It was just, you know, you look at that stuff, you think these people, these people really do represent an alternative civilization and they really would destroy ours. I'm not quite sure what they build in its place, but they know they hate us. Uh, McCarthy, GOP leader, uh, he said recently that the Democrats should consider changing the name of their party because all, the, all these statues that Pelosi's trying to get removed from the Capitol were Democrats with connections right. to the Confederacy. And the Democrats stood by Jim Crow and the Democrats defended segregation laws. He was pointing all that out and said, why don't they just consider changing the name of their party? Do you agree with that uh, analysis from him? I, I, no, I think it's, it's a great analysis to make a point. The Democratic Party was founded by Jefferson and Madison. So if Jefferson's evil, how can they remain Democrats? 
you know, just uh, the people who defended segregation in the U.S. Senate in the 50s, every single one of them was a Democrat. And that's why this whole thing is crazy. You know, Democrats have controlled Chicago for 89 years, since 1931. So why aren't they responsible when 102 people are shot in Chicago? You know, George Floyd was killed in a city run by Democrats, which is in a county run by Democrats, with a Democratic governor of the state. But they, of course, are innocent because they're pure of heart and they lean left and they will, they will, they will enact the true faith. It's, 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 it is truly a wild time.